Hello, beautiful Capricorn people, those who associate with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Welcome to your 2020 tarot love reading here at the Intuitive Teacup. That is me, that is my channel. So happy to have all the Capricorns in the house with me. Uh, on YouTube, we do general readings here. That means not everything I say will resonate with all the Capricorns out there. It is up to you guys to come into this reading with an open heart and an open mind, and ultimately to take away only the messages that you feel are meant for you, that help you in some way, that empower you, inspire you. That's my goal here today. Anything that doesn't fit your circumstance or scenario, if it feels like a foreign message, strange energy, it's probably not yours. You can release it. Um, that being said, give these messages time to resonate, not just here and now, in a few hours, in a few days, in a few weeks. If something clicks later down the line, that's fantastic. That means it was your message to take away. Everything else about this video is written in the description box below. That includes the decks I am using here today, as well as my social media. I am the Intuitive Teacup on Facebook and Instagram. As always, I ask you to drop a like, share, subscribe wherever you can because that helps me and this channel a whole lot. Helps me get those messages out to those who want to hear them and who need to hear them. Um, yeah, I think we're going to hop in for Capricorns in love, looking for love, in love. If you don't currently have a person, this could represent someone from your past. It could also represent someone coming into your future, right? Let's look optimistically to the future. Capricorns in love. Messages for their best and highest good. Capricorns in love. That flew right out. Capricorns in love. <clears throat> All right, cool. We are going to hop in. I hope you can hear me. I hope I mic'd well. We're going to give this a try. So this is roughly middle of January into uh, middle of February. And happy birthday, happy belated birthday, by the way, to all the Capricorns. All right, so you have six of swords, five of swords, and the death card. All right. So finally being able to move forward, move away from some sort of conflict, strife, chaos, um, a difficult argument or situation, but you've reached a point where you can close out the cycle with the death card. It's, it's, no, longer, um, it's no longer hanging loose. It's like the bow has been tied and it's very nice and pretty and, and you can move on from it. And I think for a very long time, that was not the case. There was something holding potentially a relationship back um, and, and it's struggles, it's obstacles, right? Sometimes this is a card of fear. It's sometimes the I can't do it because, you know, X, Y, and Z card. There was something, um, yeah, something existing within you that you had fear about moving forward with. Now, this could also be your partner. But yeah, it, it seems like with the Six of Swords, you've, you've reached resolution. There's knowledge and information that has become clear with the moon. You've had to wait out some sort of cycle with either a Pisces or a Cancer. That's not going to be for everyone. Or particularly a very strong air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And, and the last card I'll say is Scorpio because you do have the death card here. So water signs and air signs are appearing very big in this reading. As well as Sagittarius, you have the Wheel of Fortune, which again, changing up of the guard, changing of the cycle, turning of the tide in your favor, Capricorn. This could be an influx of money, especially if you have been dealing, I'm almost getting like crunching numbers on how to make ends meet. Yes, this is a love reading, but something about uh, finances are important too, as well as a spark of creativity, a, a reignition of energy that maybe you lost. Uh, maybe you burnt the candle at both ends like during your birthday week, month, how, what, how, however long you celebrate. It's reinvigorating yourself to, to get back out there. And again, coming out of strife and chaos, Particularly with, oh, I do want to say a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, that's not going to be for everyone. Maybe getting someone to settle down, someone to commit, someone to finally see the light. It's funny, you have the moon and the sun. Your bottom of your deck is beautiful. You have uh, Wheel of Fortune, Expansion, it's Jupiter energy, Sagittarian type energy. You have the moon, which is sometimes darkness, the subconscious, also things you dream of, right? In a higher vibration, the moon is just about waiting for cycles, waiting to be, um, like, waiting for that illumination, the idea of, you know, you're in the darkness, you're just being guided by this small light, the, the moon, right? Just this little, this little feeling, your intuition really is what's guiding you. But then it's like the breaking of a new day. The sun comes out. The sun will come out tomorrow, right? It's very hopeful. It's very optimistic. And, and I do have to say, just with all these cards, you have a lot of Sagittarian energy here. 
You have Temperance, Knight of Wands, um, the Ace of Wands, and not so much the Moon, but I mean, if you're dreaming about a Sagittarius, then yeah, that, that might be looking good for some of you. Um, it's restoring balance and harmony back to the relationship. Saving something, uh, something that you've been saving in your pocket for a rainy day. For some of you, that, that could be a ring or a proposal of some kind. And it doesn't have to be a, a marriage proposal. It could be a, like, let's be serious. Let's, let's commit to this. Let's, um, um, let's establish that, like, we're, we're an actual thing. And I feel like I said something similar in your last reading. Yeah, it, you're coming out of, of some really difficult energy, not knowing the other person's true intentions, not knowing how they feel about you worrying that you're no longer in sight or in their vision again it's like with the moon things were cloudy there wasn't great communication or or there was just secrets going on and it's not necessarily a bad thing um like I, i'm really not getting too much like um uh, like uh cheating energy i'm not sensing that it was just someone was having trouble committing because they were otherwise preoccupied they had a lot going on or they were just kind of immature with this card i i sense that a lot kind of like they had to get some stuff out of their system they had to go see the world they had to go see this person in that state and like but yeah it's like the cup is being refreshed with the king of wands yeah holy shit some of you i mean you know holy whatever's holy cannoli some of you are dealing with a fire sign absolutely uh, i almost a gemini maybe but uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius is very strong here with the Fire King. But yeah, again with that, under it is Nine of Pentacles. They weren't ready to commit. They were, they were pretty solid in their singlehood for quite some time. But yeah, it, it feels like, again, it, things are turning in your favor. Um, and for some of you, you are making peace with the fact that somebody who... Um, this isn't for everyone, but somebody who wouldn't commit to you and you you intuitively knew it's because they were kind of a player they were they were you know dating around or sleeping with other people i think you're bridging the gap of this is like my total eclipse of the heart card you're bridging the gap of of lingering in the sadness versus versus as i said at the beginning of this reading looking optimistically to the future because some of you yeah you've you've reconciled the past this makes a six of cups making peace with the past specifically with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius who maybe wasn't faithful and i'm not bringing this up as newness this i this is something i think you guys would have already known and encountered and again it feels like bridging the gap into a new cycle letting something die out letting something go that isn't serving you a person you know no longer need in your life could absolutely be a scorpio sag cusper with so much water and fire here um but yeah it's like the the sun is coming back out and again something about collaboration creative energy whether you're in a music group or um doing something artistic some sort of project it could be involving your children it could be involving your home um singing each other's song whatever that means to you and something about a bird you guys keep seeing the same bird at your window or there's or you may have like a hummingbird tattoo or something about a bluebird Something about a bird is very significant in this relationship, and, and again, you will know what that means with your person. I'm just kind of getting that random message. Heavy fire energy there, too. Um, something about, and okay, so for parents, something about the bird leaving its nest. Uh, if you have kids going off to college or you have, is something in that metaphor, it's like an empty nest syndrome. It, you're coupling with someone else now. You're investing your energy, your time, your emotions in someone who, who, is, who is around in your space, in, in, your, in your environment, in, in, your, in your energy, so to say. Yeah, there's, there's new passion. Aces always start with us, so you, Capricorn, are feeling invigorated again. You're ready to, to paint the town red, to set the world on fire. Um, Communicate, um, further discover your own spiritual path, and travel. Travel is going to be very big for you guys. Um, end of January into February, that doesn't have to mean going to Europe. Uh, maybe some of you are in Europe, right? But that, that could just mean taking day trips, again, particularly like with that special someone. <clears throat> Clarify five of swords, and, and I'm reading this as past, present, future. Yeah, somebody who you uh, particularly, yeah, you have the King of Cups and the King of um, King of Wands. So again, fire and, and water signs are huge in this reading here. Um, difficult issues with a, with a um, I almost said a father, so absolutely could be that. 
um, but with a king of water, so someone who maybe was using their emotions in a manipulative way, or somebody who was just like very, very bluntly conflicted emotionally. It doesn't mean they were cheating. It doesn't mean they didn't love you. Someone who had reservations on how to proceed forward. Um, someone who maybe was holding on to like a little bit of bitterness or resentment or jealousy of, you know, maybe you're living your best life right now. Again, two aces, fire and water. Oh my goodness, right? Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusper for a lot of you. Someone who was potentially jealous of like the magic you were creating, seeing your successes at work, seeing your successes in your social life. They, it's almost like, yeah, they felt inferior. They didn't know how to approach you. They weren't, um... They weren't able to effectively communicate the emotions they were feeling, but the emotions were very heavy and, and, and deep with them. Um, two cards of Scorpio. Mm -mm. But yeah, uh, this is actually quite hopeful. So for those looking to reconcile, or again, even if you're in a committed relationship, those looking to get past like the little awkward hurdle, the, the, you know, the few awkward weeks where like the chemistry just wasn't there. It feels like there, there's a reinvigoration of that. It's like closing out a cycle where there was this chaos, this confusion, this, this tete-a-tete, um, you know, maybe a little arguments, petty, petty arguments, really. Moving into like a new beginning with the fool. It's very optimistic. It's very carefree. It's very lighthearted energy. So yeah, that, those are bomb cards. That's awesome. So let's look at potentially your present. <clears throat> you have Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands again, and Five of Wands. Um, or I was going to say again, but it's not. It's two different fives. So fives are always agents of change and chaos, conflict. Um, but they do symbolize that change is in the air. Whenever you see 555 five, five on a clock, that's indicative that something in your life is stuck and it's about to be broken. So some people love that. It's like, oh my gosh, yes, change is in the air. Other people are like, oh my God, what's going to change? Like, hold on to everything because we don't know what's going to, like, it's all about how you deal with it mentally, right? What you do with your emotions. And that's what this message is saying. It could have been you. If you have strong water in your uh, chart, Capricorn, especially if you have like a, like a moon that, that is a water sign, um, yeah, th this could just indicate that you're, there's upswells of emotion and mentally you're not sure how to handle that or express it or communicate it or just what to do with it. Emotional intelligence is sort of what, what this is sort of highlighting to me. All right, so let's look at your present here. <clears throat> So if your person was not committing, they see you as having many options. You may have people flirting with you or, or even if it's not romantic, options in terms of what you're going to create with your magic wand, right, in this world. There's a presence about you that um, it, people look up to you, literally, like, it's like you're up in the sky, you're above all the cups. They look up to you and admire you. They appreciate you. They're sort of in awe and wonderment about you. Um, and so again, I think you do have multiple suitors. Uh, card of Gemini, Sagittarius, again, air, air and fire signs, though. We don't have to be super specific because this is a general reading. Um, yeah, you have multiple people catching your attention. The fire sign would be the one to move forward on this faster. But, and I want to clarify it, the commitment may not last as long because this potential air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they're in the same boat. They're in the same position of these. And whether you're male or female doesn't matter, right? This could be a same-sex couple, whatever. You can toss gender out. But these two knights I refer to as, you know, masculine only because of the depiction, right? I just want to be very clear about that. Both these knights are looking up at you, Capricorn, male or female, right? Um, they both have the same idea and awe and wonderment about, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm fascinated by Capricorn. They're very interesting. They're very creative. They're very passionate. They have a lot of options in life. It's not just romantic partnership. You have potential to create just like an amazing world, like a, an amazing little nest. We talked about like the baby bird and, and fleeing of the nest. That's what I mean. I feel like particularly this air sign or potentially water sign is worried that they're going to miss out on, out an, miss out on an opportunity with you if they don't move forward fast enough. What's funny is my Knight of Swords is typically my fastest moving knight in the deck. Nothing moves quicker than our thoughts, right? This is all about action, travel, forward movement, exploration. This is about thoughts, intellect, right? It's like his own mind is what's keeping him back, he or she. His own thoughts are, are, are having him are giving him pause on how to move forward because something about this person doesn't think they're going to measure up to you. 
yeah, they have dark thoughts that eat away at them that they're never going to be enough. And this this is might be that five of cups person where and it, yeah, it may have been the opposite that they feel lacking. They feel like they can never measure up to your standards, Capricorn. <clears throat> Could be a Pisces as well. Yeah, they have a lot of fear in moving forward with you. They almost worry that they are going to be like extra baggage in your life. Like it's like these these metaphors of travel. It's like you're you're pack. This is a metaphor, right? You're packing all your stuff up, and you, and you know you're you're going across the country. You're jumping on a boat. Whatever this is, they're worried that they're like extra baggage in your life, extra confusion extra conflict that you don't need and that may stem from a past experience where you guys did have some some arguments and it made them question if this was like a long-term thing or just you know a relationship you essentially learn something from and then you potentially go your separate ways they're very much on the fence a very gemini and energy of one day they're this way one day they're that way there's still a lot of things they want to express to you but they're not sure how to do it that is specifically like an air or water sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Underscore on the water sign too. Now this fire night might be representing you, quite frankly. If you are expanding in terms of creativity or work. Or even your, your like, I, I want to say social network, but what I mean by that is going out and being social, having fun, joining a kickball team, joining a book group, that kind of, if you are in, I almost said indulging in social activities, that's, that's great, that's fantastic. The energy on this night is pretty good. But yeah, it's like you're, you're, there's a lot of either competition around you, and I think you're feeling that, but also your person is noticing that. Like there's, there's a lot going on in your world. And again, your person isn't sure if they can measure up or if they are going to be even more of a burden to you. Your person is definitely having like uh, self-confident issues. Like they definitely feel a lack of, yeah, a lack of confidence or a, I don't know if it's a lack of drive to go after you, but they, they question every little thing. They're very much in their head about this. And again, if it does come down to having two suitors, which quite frankly, a lot of you do, whether you recognize it or not, someone may be holding back or refraining on making an offer. This could also represent your, your water air sign person, right? You have two knights and two kings. So, I mean, that, that says to me, like, knights always, uh, are always indicators of movement, change, forward, um, forward progression, as, as is the wheel of fortune. So... Change is coming for you, Capricorn, whether you want it or not. And again, it's good. It's good fortune. But if you have two suitors, I am sort of getting that the one you're more interested in or have or have more of a history with, they're the one refraining. This could also just, even if you're not in a relationship with potentially a fire sign, this could just represent other people coming in and flirting with you. And hence, the five of wands can be competition, fighting for what you want. That could represent someone feeling like some someone else is like impeding on their territory and again not being able to fight the fight not being able to, to measure up getting lost in the shuffle feeling like you are distracted or that you have romantic suitors elsewhere you can't make this up again again with the fire king so this could represent one of you, particularly if that element is very strong in your chart. But yeah, I'm just getting two suitors, two, male or female. <clears throat> and yes, yeah, so you have the same card twice, um, the five of wands, chaos, arguments, competition. It can be healthy competition, right? Particularly at work. I always associate this with you work in some sort of office where it's all about the sales and commission and, you know, beating someone else to the punch to, to you know, make your, make your goal, make your income. It's that. It's not always bad, but this feels like romantic competition. Maybe you're just looking like extra all fly and sexy because it's your birthday season, Capricorn. So if you have a fire sign flirting with you, word to the wise, there's a very good chance that, yeah, I was going to say, there's a very good chance that they are not looking for a, monog for a monogamous relationship right now. They're not necessarily looking for commitment. They're playing the field. 
that's what your fire sign is coming off as. They're one of many suitors. And that could also represent them in their life, too. They're dating around. They have a lot of people fighting for their attention. So, you know, sure, if you're going out and dating and flirting and just looking to have a good time, yeah, you know, the King of Wands will definitely do that with you, right? Uh, he has he's a lot of energy. He has a, ma a lot of charisma. Uh, very energetic. Like, he, you know, he'll go out and go dancing with you, something like that. But yeah, multiple cards would indicate that your fire sign has many options um, and, and is very uncertain about which option is going to make him happy. So internally, he might be conflicted about who to give his cup to, who to give his emotions, his love to. Let's get a little bit more on this other, other sign that I am sensing is a water sign. They look at you as the queen, the fire queen. They see you as very beautiful. Um, very and very flirtatious so again like they like that about you they think it's charming but it makes them nervous because they it, it feels like they think whether this is true or not that you have your pick of the litter they feel like yeah like you can be with anyone or that yeah they just it's really beautiful energy and that they do hold you in such high regard but with that they have such a lack of confidence about themselves which is it's kind of sad i i, I kind of feel bad Yeah, they sense that you're growing disinterested and that someone else is like uh, driving the boat you're on, whatever that means. But to, to me, that's a metaphor of like, you've already hopped on a different horse with a different knight. Someone is coming to take you away. Someone is, it's almost like someone has captured your heart and it's not them. And they're just like, oh, what about me? It's very sad. Oh, Capricorn, what's going on here? Some of you may be traveling for work and because you're away, again, this person lacks a lot of confidence. It has occurred to them that when they're not with you, um, there's there's a, a desire to like spy or check in. And even if it's not spying, just like text you a lot to be like, hey, what are you up to? Because they're not sure if like you're planting seeds in other gardens while they're not looking. If you are setting yourself up for successes, it could literally be in other cities and other states. Um, this, I, I have to be real with you, this person questions your faithfulness. And maybe that comes from just a, an intuition, a feeling they have. It might be, right? Uh, water signs do tend to be very intuitive, even like psychic abilities. If that's not the case, and you'll know because this is your reading Capricorn, it, it stems from a, it, it, again, it stems from insecurities. They're worried they're, they're not enough, so it is very easy for them to envision you, again, having your pick of the litter, having everybody give you their, their love and attention and offer you their, you know, their admiration, their respect. This person seems terrified that you're going to forget all about them. But what I'm getting, again, for those who resonate, is even when you are off without this potential, like, this emotionally triggered water sign, potentially, um, I keep saying potentially because I want to be clear, it doesn't have to be a water sign. Um, and in a general reading, like, I can only go based on the cards. So we can refer to them as the king. We can refer to them as the king of cups. We can call them a water sign. Whoever this person is to you, this one who's, they're kind of like damaged goods. This person has probably been hurt a lot in other relationships, um, particularly if they've dated a fire sign as well. Anyway, moving back to this. What I get from these cards is that when you are off on your own or when you are at work, when you are on business trips, when you're doing your thing for you, Capricorn, in your element, it does seem like there is, there is a faithfulness to investing in yourself and growing your own life, but I don't necessarily sense that you're playing the field, that you're cheating. So the cross watchers, I think, can take a big sigh of relief there because, yeah, Capricorn's just doing their thing. Like they're kicking ass on, on, on like the career front or again, just their, their hobbies, you know, going out and doing whatever makes them happy and piano lessons, you know, whatever it is. Like that's just a silly example, but they're out to have fun and have a good time. But like I'm, I'm sort of getting work hard, play hard. And because of that, it, it's making your person nervous that play hard means you're you're flirting that you're you're you know not being faithful to the relationship but to be fair this this person who again lacks a lot of confidence 
they're not coming forward with the truth and how they feel. It's like they're shaking in their boots, but like they're not indicating one way or another that they want you to choose them. So I'm not surprised that, yeah, maybe you are dating around because this person really isn't throwing a commitment at you. Oh my goodness, the wish fulfillment card. This person does have a lot to offer you and actually vice versa. This card came out and to me it's indicating there is, this is like the wish fulfillment dreams coming true, you know, who or what you invest your love and your time in and standing there like proud in front of them, right? Like they're displayed, like this is what I've earned, this is what I've worked for, this is who I love. I'm um, passion with that red hat, right? <clears throat> it is a water sign um, card, specifically Pisces, lots of Pisces and Scorpio in this. <clears throat> this card indicates to me that if you grow your seeds correctly, there's huge potential for this to be a relationship of your dreams in alignment with your desires and everything you want in a relationship. This water sign in particular definitely could offer it to you if they're able to get over their own emotional baggage. And I, and I hate to use that term because it feels so harsh and, and judgmental. And I'm, I don't mean to be. Lord knows I have a lot of water in my chart. Like, I get where this person's coming from. They have my sympathies. But it's like... They can't rely on you, Capricorn, to fix their emotional issues or, or just their confusion on, on understanding what it is that you're feeling. Like, that's something that, like, the, the answers need to be, come to them and be illuminated on their own spiritual path, on their own journey. So, yeah, like, in the meantime, go out and have fun. You have the Knight of Wands twice. So maybe this is representing, like, a, a fire sign that's all flirty and interested in you. But maybe it's representing you, like, I'm not going to wait for this person's love. I'm going to go out and have fun. And if they want to throw an offer at me, great, I'll consider it. But do you know what I mean? This is badass energy. I want to be very clear. Waiting for someone to return an offer or, ju or just present it to you at all, you got no time for that, Capricorn. Like, you got... You got places to go and shit to build. That's what I get from this card. It's beautiful energy. And as I said, I think when you are in, in your zone, particularly at work, this person does cross your mind from time to time, specifically a water sign. And again, there are things about them that, that you do admire. You could potentially see, you know, their cup of love being, being the, you know, the last one you put on your shelf of like, you know, the dating, the dating years, right? There's something that this person does offer that you're intrigued by. It's yellow, it's shiny, it catches your eye. But yeah, I do sense that you're waiting for them to step forward and, and make an offer because there is confusion there. There is some, I say secrets, and I don't mean that in a sense of, oh my God, they're cheating. If anything, it's the opposite. There's, there's secrets that they don't know what you're up to, and that is like um, just plaguing them with fear and anxiety. <clears throat> this is going to be a long reading. All right, let's go into your future. Let's see what's up there. So you have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so again, the, the Worker's card, um, the Apprenticeship, the Artisan, um, devoting your time and efforts and energy into working on a relationship. That could absolutely be this. Yeah, that's mostly what I'm getting here. Um, and I mean, it absolutely could be, you know, applying to new jobs or, or again, internships, all that, you know, investing your time in work-related matters. This feels like, <clears throat> sorry, I got a frog in my throat there. This feels like a relationship that you guys are both willing to meet in the middle and work on. Again, something about coming out of mental conflict, finding emotional intelligence with your potential water sign, king of cups, whoever that is to you. Death came up, which is like the ending of a difficult cycle and letting burn away the extra baggage. Something about, these are different decks too, the, the imagery here, the symbolism of this death comes about, and, and it is a good card, I wanna be clear. It's, you're either releasing a person that you don't love anymore, but it's like the power rests with you. You're either releasing someone you don't love and moving on from them. It could also be a fire sign, right, with that, with that imagery. Or again, it could be putting to an end a difficult cycle where, again, there was excess baggage, there was excess emotions, there were excess thoughts eating away at the relationship that weren't helping. It's putting an end to those and then working on it to make it better. Um, I, I, I feel like this is, this is a good card to have. Moving forward with knowledge and lessons about how to get this relationship up and running in like the best of light, in, in like a happy, easy, joyous way where someone isn't pausing every five minutes because they're so stuck in their head on how to move forward. You have two, two sections of the spread are indicating like 
difficulties processing the emotions. That's what both of these are saying. This, again, my fastest knight, my knight of swords, he is paused. What is, what is making him pause, right? It's because he's intimidated by you. Actually. Yeah, some of you are going to discover that over-investing in a fire sign, a knight of wands, a player, someone who's a great time, they're a great laugh, you love to go out and, you know, toss back the drinks or catch a concert. Again, they have, they have many options and are not necessarily looking to commit. <clears throat> if you were to bring up that conversation, it will probably result in an argument, just word to the wise, right? A lot of you are going to discover that you're happier on your own related to a fire sign. Uh, you have nine of cups twice, which again is indicating to me, um, or I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, actually, this is the six of cups. Hold on, hold on. Making peace with the past, and we said that earlier because you had the five and, you had the five and the ace. I don't know what, oh, there it is. That's what this card is too, the six of cups. Making peace with the past, uh, making peace with a water sign, specifically a Scorpio or a Pisces, it ushers in much needed change that sets this relationship off in a new direction where it can take off with speed, where there was hesitation and um, like lag time before. It's some, something is triggered or initiated where this night moves forward. Oh, and you know what I think this is? For those who are still dating, this is sort of establishing in on a date or in a dating scenario that what this all boils down to is that you guys have like a kick-ass friendship. Your person who's very conflicted needs to be reminded of that because maybe they don't want to, maybe they don't want to ruin what is a really beautiful, like almost soulmate karmic partnership. Um, like there's a lot of joy and like innocence you guys may have met as kids you may have grown up as as next door neighbors something like that you know your parents may be best friends so you guys were always together there's something very beautiful about this relationship and this person doesn't want to move forward because they don't want to rock the boat they're uncertain about what your reaction will be it could be something like that it's something like when you guys are together you you need to be in a state where it's just very easy and simple and carefree it's like the more serious it is when you start talking about like combining bank accounts or where you want to move or when you're going to get married, that stresses this person out. So it's like the time that you do have together, try and keep it light if, if you are open to that because that in itself, just being around you is going to remind this person how much they really enjoy just being with you, how much they enjoy your friendship and the love there. That is almost going to nudge them forward in a gentle way out of this really uncomfortable headspace that they put themselves in. It's going to lessen their fear when they realize like they don't need to be afraid to speak their truth to you. They don't be, need to be afraid to communicate when they have hurt feelings be, because you are going to be gentle with them, right? Like you are their dreams come true. You are their wish fulfillment. But because of that, their intim the intimidation factor is almost too much for them to bear at some, at some times. <clears throat> there's some sort of conversation you guys are going to have probably end of the month or, or into February that puts their mind at ease and reminds them that you guys have a history together, that there's something really beautiful there. This is something worth committing time and energy to, to building upon, to working on. Some of you are going to go on like a camping trip together. Or, or if it's not like camping, like a bed and breakfast or a little weekend getaway. Again, travel, something about that, it's going to, and, and you do have the Knight of Wands. That's my travel night, right? Lots of cards of travel, actually. Something about that like special trip, um, you know, maybe there will be a, a, a conversation that, that puts this conflict to rest. Um, or there, there could be some proposal of some kind or, or just a discussion like, yeah, I think you are my one and only, but like, how do we figure out and get like back on track? Because there's a lot we don't know. That's what this card could indicate too. Again, what's guiding you is the, the light of the moon, but the rest is all darkness. Maybe it's hard to envision where you're going to be in a year, in two years, in five years, in 10 years. It's okay, but it's like, 
stopping and halting all your all your goals and ideas and whatever because of that fear of the unknown that's not like a healthy coping mechanism <clears throat> so then you have the chariot and the six of wands oh my goodness you guys so two amazing cards both cards of victory of celebration right look at that leo and cancer energy um, so again, heavy water signs. I'm really digging your water sign, if any of that is making sense. Um, they are willing to work on this relationship because they are a soulmate, right? Whether you choose to be with them for the rest of your life, right? This is just saying, this is, this is part of your soul tribe. This person was meant to cross paths with you. Um, there's something very, just very sweet and lovely and, and um, it, it just like, it goes together. It's like peanut butter and jelly, right? Um, it, there's something where it just naturally fits like a puzzle piece where there is harmony when you guys are together. It's when someone gets two in their head, that's where the conflict and the chaos breaks out. And, and there ends up being like quarrels and arguments and just, you know, petty drama. Got no time for drama, mama. Um, so, chariot, forward movement and some sort of celebration. Yeah, this to me is saying someone commits. Or somebody finally speaks their truth because they've balanced their dark and their light energies. They've worked on their emotional intelligence. They've worked on their emotional communications. And that could be you, Capricorn, right? Um, they've worked on the way they approach people regarding their love, their feelings. And that is a victory. It's like that's what pulls this chariot forward. The two horses, the dark and the light. Maybe you and another, and another person, right, symbolically. It's like you guys decide to move the chariot together. And again, it's a victory. It's an, it, there's a sense of, of pride and accomplishment for what this relationship has been through. I will say this doesn't feel new to me. Despite the aces, it feels like there's a, a reinvigoration. A, again, re-sparking, a rekindling of of the match or maybe of the friendship right maybe you guys called it quits months ago years ago and, and somebody comes back around with multiple knights and multiple kings this could be someone who maybe they flirted around maybe they weren't ready to commit but i mean if at one point in time they were a knight of wands there's absolutely potential that they could have grown into a king by now right again toss gender out but there's potential for this person to grow to grow and develop together right it's like you you guys have the potential to nurture these seeds into into your ten of pentacles into your long-term you know fairy tale ending your your dreams come true <clears throat> all right let's throw some romance angels on this this is a long one i'm sorry guys <clears throat> yeah free yourself from from competition if you feel like you're at odds with someone and you're competing for their attention that's not a good sign um and it's indicating you specifically, Capricorn. And, and again, your fire sign. Your fire sign is not committed at this point for most of you. Yeah. On your fire sign, unrequited love. Uh, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That doesn't mean forever. But again, I'm reading roughly for a month's time. If you're looking for a fire sign to commit, flat out, he, you've got competition. And emotionally, he doesn't know who he wants to give his cup to. He or she. Also on that, the, the competition... Free yourself. And this also came out on where I was saying this is a night who likes to have fun. Go be social. Go do something that's good for your heart. Take piano classes. Take a baking class. Go sing karaoke with your girlfriends or boyfriends, whatever. Free yourself. Yeah. It, don't keep yourself penned up. Don't be waiting for someone to reciprocate or return an offer. Go live your life. It's time to take back control of your life. <clears throat> All right. Tell me about our troubled water sign here. Our poor king of cups who loves Capricorn with all his heart. Tell me about this King of Cups. Just saying. This situation involves marriage. Also, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Most of you, if the water sign in your life is, is ringing bells, ringing bells, <laughs> we love puns, they are still damaged from a relationship that really did a doozy on them in the past, and that is why there is so much confidence issues it's really what it boils down to they are so in their head because you are such a precious gift to them this is a relationship that is so precious it's everything they want it's everything they dream about they hold you in such high regard they don't want to screw it up they don't want to get the ingredients wrong they don't want to say something and have you uh, you know react in a way that they don't anticipate so they like to plan everything out but it's almost like they just have to let their heart guide them if it's meant to be it will be 
uh, for, for most of you, and sure, this could be your card as well. For most of you, this has to do with your water sign, who you're, who you're waiting on, but the love is there. I feel it, right? And I always take these romance angel cards with a grain of salt, but literally everything that has come out has been in alignment with your cards and your spread. So I would say certainly don't wait for the offer, but if you love this person, there is love there. They're just confused. All right, let's throw some zodiac signs on this. Those came out instantly. All right, you have Pisces, you have Leo, you have Virgo, and you have Taurus. <clears throat> Bottom of your deck is Gemini. All right, guys, let me know what resonates for you in the comments down below. Please do like, share, subscribe, and I will see you very soon for more tarot. Bye, Capricorn.